fine spirits meet. And today I have another Japanese whiskey on the cask. And today it's not a very well known whiskey. Also, it's not a single malt. It's the Kujira Whiskey 20 years. And this is kind of special because, first of all, yeah, not a single malt. It's a grain. And the grain doesn't come from barley. It doesn't even come from wheat or any other Western grain, but it is made from rice. Yeah, so it's a rice whiskey. But it is definitely a whiskey. It's not a single malt or anything that we would consider a typical whiskey, but strictly speaking, in the terms, it is a whiskey. And it was uh, founded by Kumien, uh, or the distillery is called Kum Kumezin Shuso, and was founded in 1952 on the Isle of Okinawa. And the distillery began the, uh, with the distillation of Awamori, and uh, it was already a distilled alcoholic drink made from Inca rice. And in 1989, they began this innovative distillery began to uh, to mature the um, um, uh, Awamori uh, to begin maturing in oak cask, and that's kind of the birthplace of the so-called G whiskey. And uh, now with the uh, Ruyuguyu Ruyu Ruyu whiskey is kind of a cat category in Japan. I'm really a bit baffled of uh, what G whiskey and what Ruyuguyu whiskey is, but um, that's for people who speak uh, Japanese. Um, 20 years in a cask. I'm not familiar about uh, the the terms uh, on how they allow to count because uh, some countries count with the years a little bit differently than we would expect. But I think Japan is pretty strict on it, and I love it. It's it's really a old Japanese looks like rice paper. On the label, it's that looks that is really really cool, and yeah, it's a really a Japanese um, bottle, and it it's really all about Japanese whiskey. Okay, open it that way. It's strange. I've never had any rice whiskey before, and I'm starting off with a a twenty year old with a twisty top. <laughs> no cork in there at all. Um, price point on this one is uh, pretty hefty. Yeah, Japanese whiskeys are sold at really, really high prices. So it's above 200, I would say. Between 200 and 250, somewhere in there. Depending on where you live and how your trade situations are. Let's find out how it is. Mm -hmm. Malt, grain, bread, butter, a little bit toasted, toasts. It's a, yeah, it smells like a, a whole grain toast with a mixed wheat whole grain toast toasted with a little bit of butter on but caramelized butter or brown butter like in, in a pan just before pancakes not fruity at all very very lightly sweety the sweet mm. strange so it, it really feels a bit different. What is strange is there's a hint of, I don't know if, if it's right, of alcoholic note in there as well. 
Mhm. Strange. Oh. Mm. It really also feels like a lot of dough, bread, mixed grain, toasted cereal, cereal. It's really a, a bread basket. It doesn't remind me of, of rice at all. But whole grain or mm. a little bit crispy feeling but it's not really sweet so it... cornflakes like straight from the package mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it doesn't have a, a a rising oak note so it's really in the in the aftertone. The oak comes in the aftertone, but it stays on and it combines with the next sip, the oak from the next sip. So it's a mm, oak. Yeah, oak prevails over the first sipping into the next one, and it's it's really present now in the second one. It really feels strange. It's a it's a really far away from what we know as whiskey um as in scotch whiskey and malt whiskey single malt whiskey it's it's really different is it worth it mm, i don't know is is it really a new experience something really different yeah definitely Mm -hmm. but it's a little bit bitter as well so it's uh not quite sure if rice is really the best cereal to make whiskey i would say it's really a little bit below barley mm -hmm. but if you happen to be able to get one of these glasses have a sip maybe you feel something different but this is i don't want to talk any bad about any whiskey but this is not my kind of my kind of drink <laughs> so yeah has to be <laughs> if you have to uh, if you can't like everything so yeah thank you very much for watching and see you next time